guys, welcome into the rain session. It's a bit cold today. It was only about 5 degrees. No sun, which makes it even colder. But yeah, we're just looking at a couple of balls away. Obviously, we're going into winter training now. And I've got a couple of things I want to work on in the winter. Uh, first things first is obviously speed, power, super speed sticks, in the gym, getting the body ready. Also, I really want to try and work on my early extension. I've always had it, it's been a big problem. Uh, early extension means when I'm coming into impact, my bum is going in and my head is going up. And I get a little bit stuck and hit the block out there or I flip it later. So yeah, early extension, trying to work on sort of holding down through impact and my bum to stay, to come out and also working on this front leg to get a bit straighter because if you watch my golf swing you probably notice that at impact my knee is still bent where all the long guys all the long golfers in the world all the guys on the PGA Tour European Tour their leg is almost hyperextending snapping at impact to get the most power out of the golf swing so maybe that's a little bit of a secret that I can work on to try and get myself, you know, get over that 180 ball speed. Uh, I would love to, my goal is to get to that 120 uh, swing speed as well, which would be, which would be lovely. Um, probably sitting around about 115 now. So 120, you know, they'd say three yards per mile. So three times five, 15 yards. So instead of, you know, my 115, flies about so 265 meters so now we're you know 120 could be could be amazing could be uh yeah a two 280 carry 275 280 carry which would be unreal Five iron here. Um, always got to a step down, get my alignment correct every time because it tends to wander away when I go and play on the golf course. So always checking, checking the important parts. Uh, coach, when I grew up, always told me kiss, keep it simple, stupid. So do all the simple stuff correctly. Just lining up my feet, my knees, my hips, my shoulders really good uh, drill to keep get your posture right is stand up tall bend from the hips so your bum goes out just bend over pop your knees drop your arms and where your arms hang is where you should be holding on to the golf club and then you just check see if the ball's in the right position that's normally a pretty good posture simple Swing at the moment, it's feeling okay. It's feeling maybe about eight out of ten. It's not, it's not fantastic. It's not amazing, but yeah. All right, we got one lad on. Let's go. Jump in, say good day. Yeah, obviously this is just a test, just testing out uh, YouTube Live. Uh, now that we're allowed to do YouTube Live, under a thousand subscribers, which is fantastic. Uh, before the rule was over a thousand, you could do YouTube Live anywhere you want but now it's under a thousand do youtube live from my phone or my laptop which is amazing so yeah just testing it out jump on say good day and i'll see if i can see your comment come past also i've got my phone around the right way am i left-handed or right-handed and i'm looking at the uh i'm looking at the comments in the mirror behind so does this look right-handed or left-handed or do i have to flip the phone
Hey, you're on there, Scotty. Welcome in, buddy. Can you tell me if I'm right-handed or left-handed? I just need to know if I need to switch the, flip the phone around or what's going on. Like I said, this is a test. See if stuff's working. But yeah, just keeping the swing moving because it's cold. It's five, five degrees, so normally I don't hit this many balls in a, in a session. Normally it's more technical swing drills, but when it's five degrees, you got to keep moving, don't you? Oh, comment. Let's go. Right-handed. Thanks, Scott. Legend. Absolutely legend. So, that's, that's good to know. <laughs> the future. That was a bit of a block, that was a bit of an early extension that I'm talking about. So what I'm going to do when I record my golf swing is, is draw a line uh, on my bum when I'm set up, draw a line, and when I swing, my bum should not move off the line, which at the moment it does. So I need to really work on keeping that bum over the line, covering the line and then just turn through. But yeah, so something I've always done. Got away with it most of the time, but starting to not really get away with it. Now starting to hit big blocks. Hands are not, you know, they're, they're not quite in timing, you know what I mean? Winter golf. Hey Scott, you're from UK, right? Going into winter golf now. I played with a guy from Birmingham. Oh, he's, he was here in Switzerland, but he plays in, in oh, he's from Birmingham. He was telling me how he, in the winter, their golf courses are open, but they carry around mats to put your ball on. We're here in Switzerland, our club courses just literally closed. They shut down. They're not shut yet. Uh, but if the cold weather keeps on rolling in like it is, uh, I would say it's not far away from being closed until, who knows, end of February, start of March sometime. So yeah, I'm just going to be stuck on the range for about three months, unfortunately. Yeah. Oh, lucky. At least you get to play all year round if you're right, you know. It's, uh, it's just so much better than not having a break. The guys here, they pretty much put their clubs away. They go skiing or snowboarding for three to four months. So their golf is uh, seasonal. It's a summer thing over here. In New Zealand we play golf all year round, which is uh, absolutely lovely, so in Switzerland I've had to adapt to not being able to play golf all year round. It's nice in a way, it gives you a bit of a break and it gives you time to work on the things that you need to work on. Obviously it's hard to work on something like in the golf season. And last year I had a really good go trying to get my speed up with the super speed stick, so that was good fun. So I'm looking forward to having another crack this year. And 
and obviously working on that early extension, working on the golf swing. good to change. Just hit the same club all the time. We're just going to have a couple of pressure movers. Good way to practice actually, just mixing up your clubs. You know, Unless you're working on your golf swing, absolutely just have out your 7 iron or 6 iron. I always find that's a good club to work with because it's like middle of the range, as in distance wise and length wise. Um, yeah, there's no point in just Hitting 55 irons in a row because how often do you hit 55 irons in a row on the golf course? Always mix it up. I think I'll stay away from the woods today. I'll stay away from the driver, three wood. Everything's really cold, balls are really cold. I'm scared of cracking, you know, cracking the driver face. So yeah, that's it has a tendency of doing that. Irons are a little bit better because uh, you know, not hollow. So I have this little doodacky here. Um, yeah, I'll turn on the lights. Doodacky here, thank you. Thank you, <laughs> doodacky. Uh, it's just an armband. So I have, I've carried this, I've had this for probably long as I've been playing golf to be fair. Um, yeah, just wrap around here because I get a tendency of going a little bit chicken wing this way. So this just uh, connects you correctly. So yeah, I just have it just under my elbows. I don't really hit golf balls with it. Because obviously, when I go through, I can't. I can't get further than that, so you can hit golf balls, I guess, slow, slow motion. But yeah, it's just I like to have this on, work in the mirror, and just get that feeling of keeping nice and compact. Don't get the uh, the old chicken wing. This one, I like get this chicken wing, and then obviously you rely a lot on timing coming back. But yeah, it's just I don't know how much that costs. Maybe eight bucks. I've had on my golf bag for about 20 years. But yeah, it's just always something that I fall back to if I'm struggling with my golf swing. Posture again, super easy, stand up tall, move from the hips, pop the knees, hang the arms, it's good posture. Thanks for that guys, I'm going to run. Uh
gotta get this car back. But yeah, cheers Scotty for that. Uh, jumping in telling me that uh, it looks right handed, which is fantastic. And uh, I'll see you in the next video. Cheers guys, enjoy your golf.